in the daytime, in the nighttime, we're going to make dua. True? It's, it's very important to be connected with Allah Almighty. Now we need to know which dua is the best. Dua to both karni, you know? In the first 10 days, first 10 nights, you have to make dua. So what is the dua? So I'm going to read this hadith to you. It's from Tirmazi, beautiful. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the most acceptable dua, the most acceptable dua is that which is made on the day of Arafah. So first of all, the Prophet of Allah speaks about the day. So the day of Arafah is the ninth of Dhul Hijjah. Ninth of Dhul Hijjah is Wednesday for us. So the most acceptable dua, and it can be any dua, is on the ninth of Dhul Hijjah. And the ninth of Dhul Hijjah will start from Tuesday night Maghrib to Wednesday night Maghrib. So spend a lot of time in dua. Five minutes, ten minutes after every prayer. In the night time, one good dua of one hour. Put it on paper what you need to say to Allah Almighty. Because sometimes when you make a dua, you forget. So now you can start writing down what I need to speak about. What I need to ask from Allah Almighty. All right? And then in that 24 hours, let it all out. And not once. Let it out a few times. All right? Repeat it. All right. So the best day for making dua is the ninth of Dhul Hijjah. All right. That's Allah reward our Nabi. But then the Prophet of Allah says, and the best dua. So the best day is the ninth of Dhul Hijjah. The, but the best dua and the best dua is that which the prophets made before me and I have made it as well. So all the prophets before made this dua and I made it as well. You got it? Ninth of Dhul Hijjah is the best. Now what is the dua? Very simple. La ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika la. Lahul mulk wa lahul hamd wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. And what does this mean? That there is no deity besides Allah. Wahda, he is alone. La sharika la, he has no partner. Lahul mulk, to him belongs the sovereignty. Wa lahul hamd, and unto him belongs all praise. Wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. And he is all powerful. Now you tell me. Forget about what I said a few moments ago. Is that a dua? That's not a dua. La ilaha illallah. There's none worthy of worship but Allah. Lahul mulk to him belongs the sovereignty. Walahul hamd to him belongs the praise. Wahu ala kulli shayin qadir and he is all powerful. That's not a dua. But the Prophet of Allah says, this is the best dua. And it is a dua made by me and made by all the Prophets. So what is the meaning of that? What do you think that means? As we've run out of time, I'm going to mention it. It means that these are the best words to glorify and praise Allah. And once you have praised Allah, after that, every dua is the best dua. Because you got Allah on your side. That's the meaning of this. Once you have glorified Allah with these words, La ilaha illallah wahda, La sharika la, Labbaik, Allahumma labbaik, La sharika la ka nabbaik, La sharika la, Lahul mulk wa lahul hamd. These are the best words of ta'rif, of praising Allah Almighty. Once you have praised the King of all kings, now any dua that follows will be accepted readily by Allah Almighty. Does it make sense? So whenever you're making dua, whenever, Zul Ka'da, Zul Hijjah, now, tomorrow, in the next year, always inject this in the start. 